Hello, welcome to the Casa Podcast. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. So today I'll be your host and um, I'll be hosting two wonderful gentlemen in the house today. And yeah, we'll be talking about our growing relationship, our friend group specifically. Um, I think three days ago, two, day- two days ago, I saw a post that was made on Twitter about... Rihanna participating in a bridal, you know, party for her friend. She was a bridesmaid. And then it said it stirred up this topic or conversation about people doing getting, you know, reaching certain milestones and ditching their friends, like how my friends have been ditching me. So I wanted to bring it up and then talk about it with my friends. Today I have Kojo and Chris in the studio guys welcome to my studio to my <laughs> studio <laughs> thank you thank you for thank having you for, us thank you for having us thank you for having us how are you guys doing it's been a long time it feels like forever yeah since it's, I saw both, both of you. it's been ages we outgrew you but I for know. some reason you talked us back into this thing <laughs> We've, we've outgrown this thing. Like, we're too big for this thing I now. know. I know. But that is, that is why I'm like, I'm sure mm-hmm. you guys are still here. Because the level you guys have reached, I'm, 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 I'm nowhere close to that level. But I appreciate you yeah, keeping but me By up. level, you mean level of poverty? It's not nice to laugh at people while they are down, okay? It's not nice to laugh at people while they are oh down. Oh, my God. Chris, how Our are you money doing? <laughs> Very, very good. Oh, how was your week? How was your week? Yeah, it was it was okay. Um busy, a little busy, fun, a little fun? Yeah. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Cause how was your week? Uh my week was good. A lot of moving up and down, driving for days, but it was good. It was good. Uh, moving. Said, Where are you moving to? Moving, I said driving up and down, moving all over the place, you know, like oh, not sitting okay. still. But yeah, I, it was good. It was good. I'm set up for the next week. Hmm, that's nice. Guys, I, I, you guys have seen the topic on, on board today. I want us to talk about outgrowing friendship relationship. Hmm. Yes. Right. I don't know if it's a concept you guys have talked about, but it is something that has occurred to you. How would you define or what would you say? How would you explain it to somebody? If you say you've outgrown a a relationship you had with your friends, what what do you mean when you say that? (laughs) I guess it's one of the most pretentious things to say. I, I have a, outgrown this. Like I'm, I'm above this now. Like I'm a big boy now. I'm no, a you're big too girl big. Now. Yeah, it, it, it's pretentious, but it's it's one of those inevitabilities of life, right? As we mm-hmm. grow, as we move, there are certain things that I, I would define it this way: when circumstances and mm-hmm. the the realities of your growth makes you drift away from a certain pack, right? Yeah, I'm lost. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd break it down when your growth uh, your circumstances I'd, I'd use um, plants agriculture as an example there are some times at a point in your life mm-hmm. as a seedling you're in a nursery and just based on the fact that we are a collective we're born around the same time life puts us in a certain place right so mm-hmm. we can go to school together we can be classmates and we form bonds and friendships and relationships based on the fact that we were born together but as the seedlings grow there comes a time to transplant them okay. and when we get to the field itself some plants are planted by the roadside and some are planted on top of the hill and some are planted and then naturally you drift apart so in elementary school, we're friends. But when we go to secondary school, some are doing science, some are doing visual arts. And then they start, you know, you see the chasm building. But but you can still have that relationship, right? You could be in different sides of the field, but you guys can still bond. Yeah, but okay. 
I guess, I guess that was the that's the point of I, it's just a scenario, right? And if mm-hmm. I got to the end, so those are things beyond your control. There are sometimes you're just not in a place where you can stay in touch with people just because we used to be friends. friends it's yeah. it's not my fault. Maybe I'm in a new job. I've been posted to a new country. I'm 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 a family man. I'm in a different stage in my life, right? And so it's not it's not out. I'm not saying I'm better than you. I'm outgrowing you, but we're drifting apart. Right? Yeah, in and it's, different it's, stage in your life. That that's what I understand by that. I don't know what Chris would add. <laughs> Chris, Chris, what 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 do you what do you say? Yeah, I think it happens naturally. I mean, it's not intentional. I don't think mm. it's intentional. Naturally? Yeah, I mean, because we we usually as we grow, right? Mm-hmm. We have friends. I mean, some one way or the other, we we tend to build friendship based on goals, mm-hmm. right? Or the destination we want to get to. And then we have friends for specific purposes. I don't know. Well, like maybe we have friends. We hang no, out no, with. Th- that is that is me. Yeah. You have friends for specific purposes. I mean, yes, yes. Yeah, we, we have friends. We okay. We go out with like okay. hang out with social friends. We have like academic friends. We have mm. job friends. Mm-hmm. And so as as we grow up, right? As we leave there, maybe we, as we leave the academic scene, mm-hmm. you see that we drift apart because maybe our friendship was based on school like academics and now we are no more in the same mm-hmm. space or in the same like area so we tend to drift apart and maybe we had social friends we used to go out with hang out with but now you're a family person mm-hmm. and then you you don't do that anymore so mm-hmm. you tend to so i mean it it happens it's not um yeah, I can see Unusual. someone said Twitter space friends. <laughs> yeah. So. But 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 I wanted to, Chris, I want to add something oh to you. I know it, yeah, your boy was. But if yeah, have you ever heard the saying there are some friends for a reason? Mm-hmm. There's some friends for a season, and there are some friends forever. So we're not oh, making this up. Okay. It, it's okay. actually it's actually there. There are some friends okay. that happen in your life for a season. But I mean, you see the way you guys explain it, that you have friends for different purposes and reasons. There are some people that do not understand it that way, right? Mm -hmm. So having such people as friends or having such friend group, how do we communicate to them or how do we... Um, you know, bring that across that, okay, I have moving to a different stage of my life. It's not like I hate you, but we might not have the same purpose. And so the the reason why we're together, as Chris would say, maybe we're in school together. Now I'm done with school. I, I'm not in primary school anymore. So I'm going to, you know, high school or college. How do you communicate? it? Because people do not understand. And then it's like, okay, you're a very bad person. Because we were friends, and now because just for the fact that we were in college, um, uh, basic school together, and you are in a junior high school and a senior high school, all of a sudden you don't know me. Mm. Hmm. If yeah, I, I think it's the purpose. How do you communicate it? Is the purpose of making them know? Why do you want them to know? That would determine why you how you communicate it. Why? If, if it's a natural. Um, if 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 you're just not in a place to link with them, to mm-hmm. you know, have those relationships and the times you spend with them, mm-hmm. it, you don't need to communicate it. It's organic. It happens. I don't see a nice way to say it. If you're going to communicate, if so you're going you to make it clear to someone, it? no, if you're going to make it clear to someone you've outgrown them, mm-hmm. um, you should you should really reconsider. You're just a bad person in my books, like. It's organic. There are a lot of friends that you could text with every day, especially you're down with school, you're just at home, just hanging out. And then now everybody's in school and due to the pressures and the demands of their programs, they're not mm-hmm. communicating. They mm-hmm. don't need to tell you. You don't need to. Like, you know, we, people understand. If you're making it a point to communicate that point, then there's something. Like, that means you want to let this person, you know. And so how you communicate it, in my no, opinion. No, it's the fact that you start with an assumption that an assumption that people understand people 
don't understand. Yeah, but why should you make them understand? That's yeah. kind of what I am because getting at. Because the person is your friend. And you don't want them having different ideas. <laughs> Chris, right? I'll let you handle this one. <laughs> I'll let you have this one. Because if yeah, it's not understanding. Yeah, I mean, there's... There are people definitely who will not understand, but you don't need Thank to. I don't, but I don't think you should explain, right? Um, it, it happens, right? Mm-hmm. They will not, some will not understand. Maybe, maybe mm-hmm. the I mean, word I was looking for was not explained, but I okay. mean, you get the idea that communicates with the person that, oh, certain times, right? In common way, you know, me to me, no, me, I don't, me, I can't contribute to this conversation right and so you know gradually let the person understand that i've moved past this and this conversation i can't add anything to it so oh, maybe right. you know something else we can talk about but this no, I, I don't way. think i don't think it's it's necessary necessary i also don't think yeah, it's necessary uh, it's you I just mean, that's what i'm saying you you know you and i know that you have some friends where you don't talk in a year or years but as soon as you guys get on the call or get mm-hmm. on the phone, mm-hmm. you talk like as, as if everything is okay, everything mm-hmm. is normal. Mm-hmm. I mean, we are we both understand that we are diff- we are in different spaces, mm-hmm. we have different demands, and once in a while we catch up. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that is my issue with you guys. The fact that hey. both of you think you suddenly that have an issue with us. I do. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you guys think that. You know, we understand that we are in different people do not understand like that. Yeah, why but but we're not hearing from these people. Who are these people you're trying to I am to talking, represent? I'm talking for the people. Oh, you don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand what why, about it? Don't you understand? Why you people move and then all of a sudden, because I'm not in the same space, or you know, we are in different schools, so I'm not your friend. Why? No, it's because of the purpose of the friendship, right? Because I have people who we've moved away from each other like mm-hmm. f- for years, right? Mm-hmm. But we still keep in touch okay. because the purpose of the friendship is based on something which is still ongoing mm-hmm. in in our lives. Like that's we, interesting. We have we share the same goals, or we are in the same share uh, the same goals we shared i mean we are in the same like we are pursuing the same career or we are pursuing the same academic program or aside even aside academic program we share other things in common mm-hmm. and so there's there's always something to talk about and to keep in touch about okay so okay. i think for that it will depend on the the purpose of the friendship Okay. Yeah. Now, now, if I'm getting you right, right, you've taken that some two steps back, trying to define what brings people together and how friendship groups are formed. And so if you understand that it's because of a shared goal or um, similar interest that brings us together, we will define outgrowing our friendship group to be when there's no goal like no similar interest to hold it what holds the friendship is no longer there so for you there's supposed to be something holding both of you to get like the whole group together is that what you're saying i think that's 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 what that's friendship that is friendship in its definition yeah like before you you're not friends with everybody you meet yeah. True. Your friends are selected based on that something brings you guys together. Something brings the friend group together. And so if that thing is no longer relevant, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't, you know, I mean, if we were in the same nursery and I had no other classmates but you, we're going to be friends. But if we end up, you know, 50 years later and you're in your different retirement home, and I'm in a different retirement home, I I have to get new. I, I can't still do my paintings with you. <laughs> you but but I, it looks like, from the way you guys are talking, it looks like you guys understand and never been in a situation where you've lost, you know, not really lost, like you're no longer in touch with a friend that you value so much. Like I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that no, you guys have never been in no, that position. We have. I, I can't speak for Chris, but I have. 
I've been mm. in a position where, and and I think it, it comes down to this advice I got a couple of years ago. And it's um, in, in terms of a mentorship stream, right? You have to have mm. someone who is pouring into you and someone you're pouring into. And so sometimes you build friendships in this mentorship model, right? Where someone mm. way above you who is pouring into you, helping you out. Like when I was in JSS, I had a friend who was in high school. He was helping me. My English exams, he would, you know, I would write these things. He would go through it for me. He would read. He would edit. He was pouring into me, right? Mm-hmm. And now he's no longer doing that. He's no longer in that mentorship position, right? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you you get to a point where sometimes you even at par with your mentors or sometimes you even out, outpace your mentors, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's that relationship, that connection. Sometimes the the person pouring into you could it could get to a time where you're now even pouring into the person, or they're just not there. They have other people to go and pour into, so you lose someone of value. But you you have to understand that it's part of of friendship. And I think one of the beautiful things about friendship, even before we get in, is accepting that the friendship would end someday for for whatever reason. We're not going to be friends forever. So accepting that, the finality of the friendship is also a very important thing. I think I think saying, I mean, at some point it will end, it's even in the 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 friends, right? Because for real, it ends. <laughs> now that's a good one. Now that's a good one. Now that's a good one. I didn't even think about it. Yes, but right I mean, for real, it ends. It, it ends. For real, it ends. It ends. It ends. It's oh right there God. in the name of friends. That that's is, a good that, one. That that's a, a good, good one, one, Chris. So for real, F R. Yeah. It ends. Ooh. <laughs> for guys. real, it ends. For real, it ends. <laughs> I think you guys I are think... dropping keys. <laughs> I think I understand, but you know, it's just with the sentiment that comes with someone that you've been talking to over a period of time, or you guys have been in contact for a while, and then all of a sudden you have to accept that, you know, we no longer have that connection anymore, and the person has to, the person has to, you know, leave, or I have to move past it. But anyway, before I go back to my next question, right, I want to read a few comments here. Oh, Rashid. Rashid, I've missed you. Where have you been, Rashid? It's been like forever. Is that a fair boo? I am truly concerned. Why did you introduce the panel like they they were new people? Probably younger. Rashid, you know, I usually say I've missed you. And then in in the next 10 seconds, I regret saying I've missed you. Why? Why do you do this, Rashid? Oh, simply Jordan. Hello, Jordan. Jordan is saying hi, everyone. I miss you guys. We miss you too. I think we've not seen you in like the past couple of weeks, and we are glad you're back here. Michael, Michael Ada is giggling. He said he's a Twitter Space friends. Oh yeah, I mean Twitter Space. <laughs> we have people friends on Twitter because of Twitter Space, and that's who they are. They are Twitter Space friends, and we keep them as such. But no, I think we've, not everybody, just me. I have some people that have become very close friends past Twitter. And Nikki is here, guys. Now, she says, now, I have my day ones into brackets, lifetime friends, and Twitter friends. <laughs> so she just has two sets of friend groups. We have to talk <laughs> about well, this. I, I don't normally comment, but for this one, I'm going to comment. I have to let you know this. I have to clarify. In this studio, when what Nanekia is saying, I am one of the day ones. I am the lifetime friends. And you and Chris, you guys are Twitter friends. I just no, have to make that no, decision no, clear. No, 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 you know it. I mean, please, please I mean, go and sit I, out somewhere. I understand. I'm a friend who understands. Good, good. <laughs> FBI a boy is coming to argue this. Meanwhile, it's the truth. Nanekia can clarify. Nanekia, Nanekia is not going to clarify anything. Rashi is back again saying, could you really summarize that it's well? It's a mix of circumstance and choices, fortunate and unfortunate, that creates the growth. That's that's a good one. Now, I didn't think about it that way. And, well, that's a good one. Anyway, he came back again and said, if you are, I do not think outgrowing someone does not mean they are no longer your friend. It just means you will not connect the same wavelength as before. Hmm. 
Rashi, yeah, is, Rashi is dropping is some it. gems here. That is exactly here. what we had been trying to communicate. And and, and now I, I'm getting to understand, maybe. Good, good. Th- thanks maybe. for being the, f- the friend who is trying to understand. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Usually, yeah, I don't if she da- Chris, if she doesn't understand, we'd have to outgrow her. Yes. We'd leave her behind on the show. <laughs> Usually, I, I don't want to be the understanding person. But, mm. you know, in certain situations, you have to. Mm. He says, I miss you too. Oh, please don't unmiss me after my first comment. Uh, no, I will not miss you. I promise. Hmm. I actually I actually do miss you. Anyway, let's... The, let's these friendships back. that don't last, they really burn bright. You know, <laughs> they, these people are having that uh, I miss you, you I miss you moment and two minutes later... Why they're are just you hating? Why are you hating? There's a saying that beware of the things that burn bright. They don't, hey. they don't burn long. <laughs> Boy, anyway, guys, <laughs> we are going. To, we are not going to mind because we are going to move past it. And so, what I want to ask again is that I think you guys have even mentioned it through the comments and everything. I was going to ask how you recognize, how you see the growth signals. What are the tell signs, like the things you see? You feel like okay, I think this is not serving me anymore. Like, what are the things that you see or the things that pop up? Okay. I was waiting for Chris to give us the signal. I was was also Also waiting waiting for me. Okay. So I'm going to give an example, right? This is going to be the nerds example. The nerds? The nerds. This is for the nerds watching the show. If you're into rocket and fun stuff, Mm -hmm. like cool things like JWST and all the fun Mm -hmm. stuff we have. You see, whenever the rocket launches, right? It's Mm -hmm. on the platform, the countdown, and then it goes off, right? And mm-hmm. normally, you have your spaceship itself, and it has two rockets attached to it, or three, or however many rockets they want to. They launch it off. When it gets to a certain altitude, the rockets just detach, and then the spaceship continues on its journey. Sometimes, mm-hmm. you see it clearly, because you can see that your rockets have just detached, and then you're on your own. You're in space. You get to a certain altitude that even your friends begin to address you different, right? Mm. You know, you, you're friends with someone, you know them, you, you, at a point they're just if yeah, if yeah, if yeah. And then they enter certain altitudes and you're like, Madam President. At that point, the rocket just detached. Nobody should tell you. Like, y- 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 it's clear. Sometimes life and how fast people go and how high people rise gets to a point when you, when you try to hold on or when your friends try to hold on, they would start feeling altitude sickness right sometimes the person is too astronomical for you to hold on so you just it, it just yeah, naturally yeah, happens oh. where you just detach and then sometimes sometimes if you have rude friends like if you're a boy they tell you hey now i'm big madam now don't even come to you're not you go find your friends play by your what do they say play with your classmates so play with your classmates <laughs> so those are some ways you would know <laughs> Oh my god! I don't. I hate the fact that you guys are trying to be the understanding side of the whole conversation. Because on Twitter, people had issues with their friend group actually moving past certain things, and then they're like, "Oh, my friend will get to university, and all of a sudden, they cannot reply messages anymore." <laughs> yeah, but if you keep texting them, when is when is call mask class? When they are in the university, they can't respond to that. When they were in high school and you're asking when is the core mass exam, they can respond. But when they're in the university and you keep asking the same thing. So instead of worrying about what, why your friends are not responding, worry about what exactly you're asking them to respond to. Mm. There are sometimes you are the problem. You have to, when your friends start going or when so they start growing. To you, if we have a problem with that, we are the problem. Sometimes you have to look at the message. Chris, you also think to. that if we have a problem like that, we are the problem. No, I, I think I think as friends, right, mm-hmm. we should also try to understand our place in in our friend's life. Mm. You understand? Okay. Because like I'm saying, there there's there's a reason why we came together or we became friends. And so it gets to a point the other party is trying to move the friendship to another space or another sphere like why why are you trying to move the friendship to hmm. another place 
oh no maybe we are academic friends right okay but now the person is trying to probe into your personal your okay. like your personal life okay. and so that is where in some cases maybe the mm -hmm. other person ignores you right or the person yeah, being polite yes the person is not ready to answer questions about all those things that Oh, Chris. Hey, hey. I think we lost Chris. But I like the point he was making, though. I do. Sometimes you we're academic friends. We're studying. We're That's studying. But right understand. Oh, he's back. Yeah. So we should just understand as our, our place in the lives of our friends. That's all. And please, whoever is trying to call Chris, know your place in his life. <laughs> At this point, he is on a show. He <laughs> we can't do that. He can't respond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but AY, I'm sure you've experienced this, and I'm sure a lot of people have gone through this, where mm -hmm. we start off with a study group. You're struggling in a class. We've started a study group. Then they, then suddenly they'll come, hey, so what are you doing tonight? When is your boyfriend going to? Hey, hey, when did we start getting on this level? If I leave you on red, that is your problem. You see, look at the question you're asking me. Sometimes people try to sneak some, you know, I don't know if they think, you know, you can't sneak it past me. If we have a relationship in this department, please stay in the department. <coughs> you don't have to worry about other departments. You see the guy, hey, big head, hey, 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 we are study mates. So you come and big head me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, great. Well, we I know the tricks. <laughs> oh, the tricks. Wow. Somebody's been calling you big head. That's what and... people have been doing. Isn't that the, the famous lines? Mm. Hey, big head. Hey, Dazzy. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Don't Dazzy me. Uh -uh. I'm your commerce professor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I, I want to also go to this um this idea of you, you know, sometimes you have, I don't know, I don't, I don't like the fact that you guys are acting like you've not had that kind of sentiment where you know this this group is not serving me anymore. You want to let go. You want to move past it. Like, how do you do it? Do you just be like, all right, bye. I'm not doing this again. And then move it and then move forward. Like, how do you do it? Chris. I'm asking. I'm asking. I, I mean, you, just, yeah, you just do it. I mean. No, but again, <laughs> I, I, I am you weary. Them go. I, I, I'm weary of the announcement. It's so funny yeah. that people who normally announce it, they are the ones that come with their tail between their legs, crawling back into the friend group. It's not if I don't you mean don't announce. I don't mm -hmm. mean announcement. No, no, I I'm mean... just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. If you don't go out of your way to make it known, mm -hmm. I am bigger than this friend group. I've outgrown this friend group. Sometimes there's there's dormancy in any relationship, in any friendship. Sometimes there are a lot of Facebook, group, uh, WhatsApp groups. You talk every day and then you can go dormant for like six. I'm better than the people in the group. I just don't mm -hmm. have anything to contribute. When the time comes that I have something to say, I just come in and I pick up right where I left off. Yeah. But if I make this grand gesture, the grand rising of my exit of this group, and then there's all this pomp and pageantry and they say goodbye to you, two weeks later when you're coming back, you might have trouble. I just think it's not, not necessary to communicate. Generally, AY, I understand that some people may not know when you've outgrown them or when the relationship is no longer. It's fine. It's fine. There are some people who you knew from like 15 years ago when they hate you on Facebook. You hate back. How are you doing? I'm good. It, it doesn't cost a lot. Sometimes it's just being a decent human being. Yes, they don't have a lot to connect on with you on. They don't have a lot to say. They don't have a lot to... But it's fine to be a decent human being. If these people reach out and go like, hey, I, I'm above you. Well, one day your car will spoil in the middle of the, <laughs> in the, middle of the corner of the street. And then the same people will be passing by. Oh, you thought you were better than us. Right. One day you go for campaign, you go for run, you go and run for MP, and the same people you thought you had outgrown would be the same ones you'd have to. And so I just feel the announcement is not necessary. And for me, I like to take this conversation to the point where we notice it. We notice mm -hmm. when our friends are like there are sometimes we're teammates. Even uh, listen, sometimes you're a coach to your friend. Mm -hmm. Then it gets to a point they work so hard that you're you're their teammate. Then it gets to a point you just understand and you're rooting for them. Yes, it's true that you used to teach them maths 
10 years ago. But today, you have to stand and cheer. You, you're not on that level and accepting it and knowing how to contribute. Because it's also very important. Yes, your friends may outgrow you, but you can still be a contributing factor in their lives. Instead of, mm. you know, trying to bring them down and let them know you're not better than me. It's just learn to be on the, you know, on the side. Because even with basketball players, sometimes LeBron is on the bench and he's rooting for the 17-year-old kids. It's like that. Mm, I like the point you made with even if your friends have outgrown you, you have to learn to be like a supporting factor, not to bring them back to your level. And that is that to me is something we all have to learn to do. Sometimes we really have our friends and nope, wherever they are, we don't see it. Like we are not there. We shouldn't hate right i hate to be the person that would say we have to understand but then as we grow right and then people take different paths we just learn that this is where my work in this person's life is done and you know i'm moving to the next and that brings me to the part nanika was saying something and i wanted to touch on it a little bit right is it is it a norm that as you go you you have less friends. <clears throat> no. No. I think the reverse should be the case. As you grow, you should have more friends. But I seem to see this trend of people that grow up and while when they were younger, they had they had people around them. Now as they grow, as as they are now in their, you know mid-age groups you see they don't have anybody nobody and now it makes me think am i gonna have three people in my life in the next decade <laughs> or three or two you know what? i think, I think friends, like friends are like man money they're like wealth actually friends are wealth and if you don't know how to manage your wealth it would you lose it mm-hmm. as you grow you're supposed to have more friends in fact you're supposed to have more diversity in your friends as a kid who are going to be your friends your people who live in your neighborhood people in your school as you're growing you're going to have working relationships you're going to have people from school maintaining these relationships you're going to have people who are 30 times your age or three times your age 30 times three times your age your professors (laughs) right the people your administrators in school you're supposed to have more friends as you grow that is when your life is being enriched when you're accumulating wealth, friends, they're wealth. Having friends in high places, low places, there are some people wherever they go, no matter what station they are in life, there is someone who is going to be able to come to their aid. Because they have friends who are organizers and fitters, and they have friends who are painters and electricians, and they have friends who are parliamentarians and presidents. That is how an individual should look. You should really go about living a decent enough life that people choose to be your friends right? Big people would choose to be your friends and small people would choose to be your friends. If you're growing and your friend groups keep shrinking, I think you should take a hard look in the mirror and reevaluate some of your choices. Reevaluate some of your decisions. Else you'd end up in a very lonely place. AY, you said midlife. If in your midlife, you have fewer friends, by the time you go to the nursing home, you're not going to have any friends. And I know you're going to a nursing home. No, no, no. If you're having having fewer and fewer friends, if you're having fewer and fewer friends, you're going to end up in a nursing home. Because your kids are not going to keep you around. Do you agree to? (laughs) Do you agree to what Kujay is saying? I mean, you... (laughs) I, I think what could you, I, I what could you say, assess? I understand. I mean, as you grow up, you have to position yourself where you have like friends everywhere, mm-hmm. right? And um, yeah, and it makes sense because as you grow, you, you are think as you grow, you have more friends. Or yes, as you grow, you have less friends. You have more friends. Right? Wait, you should because as you grow up, now you are involved in diverse things you are involved in and um unless you have a different definition for friend right maybe you don't see those people as your friends maybe you see people who you can just call them or maybe i I don't i don't know how you define that but it makes sense because if in all aspects of your life you want to have a friend in that area 
that you can connect with and then i mean share ideas point to the person the person pours into you and then oh uh, yeah i think it makes sense yep. but yeah, have you noticed have thinking. you noticed the trend i'm talking about oh with yeah people yeah. yeah i mean that is yeah that but is anyway, the, norm. the people you are identifying the trend in what kind of people are they that, that is the more important question. If you are identifying a trend in a group of people who seem to be certain friends like fair, then you should wonder what kind of friend they are, right? Because I think it's it's one of those things. Friendship is, is in most cases, a two-way street. Are you a friend's mm-hmm. friend? And if you are losing friends by the day, then there, there probably is a, you know, <laughs> the common factor would be you. Right. Yes, and 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 unless maybe I mean your friends were maybe unhealthy friends, and then now you have you you are turning a new leaf, or you mm-hmm. have realized that oh no these these aspects of my life are not helping me, and then you share them off, and then now you don't know how to build new friends in this new area you have found or something like that then you won't last Chris. I'm telling you. If if you if, if you're in bad company and you're able to leave the bad company, you're not able to build a new network to sustain you in a healthy company, Chris. You won't last. Yeah, that's the thing I'm is saying. life yeah, gets so lonely yeah. that you'd backslide, you'd backslide before you realize yeah. you'd be back with a gang. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's an interesting but, but one. That's that a is, very interesting one. Honestly, because I know a number of people, honestly, a number of people, and it looks like as they grow older they have less friends and it's like it's not like they are bad people what i notice about friendship also Mm -hmm. is that it's work it's you don't just sit down and be like the friend will be like you know this friendship is just there Mm -hmm. you have to do a check-in somebody check out that's what i'm saying i don't know about friendship being work though yeah because i don't know that's because because i both mm -hmm. both parties should understand right Mm -hmm. i have I have friends that I know if I don't talk to in two years mm-hmm. and then, or maybe in that entire two years, maybe we just text happy birthday, happy birthday, and then maybe Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Mm-hmm. And then maybe a year or two later, something comes up and I need to call the person, or the person needs to call me. As soon as you call, oh, then we... You pick it, it up from there. You pick it up from there. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is mm-hmm. what that that's not work. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Chris. It's not I think work. Anyway, it's I, not I I believe good. no, I believe uh, in this saying that friendship or relationship is like fart. If you have to try too hard, it's probably crap. You, you really it's not that much work. Uh, to be honest, it really isn't that much work. If you find your crowd, mm-hmm. it, think of it as as racing people who ride these long distance bike runs right mm-hmm. when you catch the right pack you don't spend a lot of energy when you're by yourself you ride a lot you spend a lot of when you catch the right drift when you find the right crowd there are some friends that oh my god you, you can even forget that you're friends because it's so easy it's so effortless you pick up the phone like two months after you've not spoken to them and it's like easy going and there are some people you're just terrified to go talk to yes because you missed you missed calling them one day and then they go all i'm not going to name names but yeah they know themselves but yeah it, it's like that it's not that much work especially true genuine friendship it's not a lot of work well i believe it's there's some form of effort from both and else it's just not going to be sustainable that's that's what i think because if, yeah if i if it takes a while and then i call you mm-hmm. and then you'll be like you, call, you only call me when you need my help. and uh, But I don't expect you to call me anywhere. Yeah, I mean, the next time, I'm not go- it will be difficult to call you. And I won't call you my friend. Yeah, and that is it. And then yeah, the, it ruptures. The, the friendship, you guys drift apart. But I, I get it, right? But people don't understand it like you guys are saying. Why you guys don't they know. understand it? Why don't they? <laughs> Why? Why? Why don't oh you? Because it's so that simple. Is beautiful. Right? If I call you every day, if yeah, if I call you every day, right mm-hmm. after work, I call you every day after work, and then mm-hmm. I I call you. Hello, how are you? How was work? How was your day? And then that's it. 
and then the next day i call you again if you are how was your day how was work and then that's it and i keep calling you we have no 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 you can no, let him finish let him finish <laughs> If we are, yeah, let him finish. Every day we have nothing to talk Is about. It? And I wait after three months, I call you. If you are like, how have you been? What's new? How is how is it going? I'm also doing this. I got this. I got that. I got a new mm-hmm. job. And this is how it's happening. This is I'm tr- planning to go back to school and blah blah blah. That's it. It's nice. And then it's your birthday. I text you. If you're happy birthday, send me your address. I'm sending you a gift. It's nice. Then six months later, if you're, what are you doing for Christmas? I mean, how is it going? That's nice. That's friendship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is friendship. Both of you understand that we are in different places. We are. Di- I mean, it's different from, I mean, we are in the same apartment complex. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, you close from work. You pass by my apartment. Hey, hi, how was work? And then you go back to your room. I mean, or weekend, you come hang out, we cook, we eat. That's different. But you are in the different space. You are in the different, um, you are in the different careers. You are in different environments. It's, it's so simple. Uh, Chris, Chris, <laughs> I, I think, again, it's the simplicity of it that's beautiful. AY, would you agree that sometimes conversations can be so stale that it will make the friendship stale. Yeah. Like yeah. there are people the minute their number their number comes across your phone, you know exactly what they're going to ask. And sometimes they're like, he's just going to ask me how, what this was and I don't have an answer so I'm not going to answer it. And then there are some people you they've not called you in months. Hey, this one's calling me. Wait, wait. Let me let me answer this. It's my friend. I've not heard from him in months. The, those reactions themselves tell you when someone is doing too much work calling every day have you eaten have you uh, listen sometimes it can be still like it's like oh my <laughs> god not again <coughs> and, and that person thinks they're putting in effort oh friendship is work me i have to work i have to give my life it's to this. Work. No. It's work it's not like physical work <laughs> no 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 ay i have i the, the truth it's is means that... it's not healthy if you if you're a friend and you're not you're so worried that if you don't call your friend one day and they would not no longer be your friend it's just a healthy relationship listen we have friends you would not hear from them up like for a year and like chris is saying that is where the conversation is so juicy like give me the details like you stop whatever you're doing and go and talk you don't want it juicy (laughs) why you just want want it dry 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 Ay just wants dry friendships. Go along and get your dry friends. Do well, guys. Do well. I would, I would come back to this. I have a lot to say, but let me read a few comments. Okay. I just saw Glenn popping, and he's saying, "I'm late," but I don't think we outgrow friends. That's what he's saying. He doesn't think we outgrow friends. Mm. It's a social construct that constructs like classism. Okay. And it's okay if you don't talk as much as some people. As much you don't talk as much to some people no more, but that's not outgrowing. So, so Glenn, you don't think it's actually a real thing? You you just think you know is something people just made up? Is that what you're saying? Because I don't know. I don't know how you define it. Then, if you're saying mm-hmm. we don't outgrow our friends, what do we do then? I, what I mean, he's saying, I think I get his point, right? He he's making the whole it's all good argument. Yes, in certain stages in our lives would be and it's like the nursery seedlings in the nursery bed thing. Yeah, in certain stages in our life we'll be touching. We'd be right next to each other. Would uh, yeah, if you go to the other end of the field, it's fine. I've not outgrown you. You're just growing in a different area, and I'm growing in a different area. Which I sort of get the logic, right? The whole I have outgrown my friend group, and and that's where it goes to what I was saying in the beginning. If you want to make that point, if you want to make it clear that you've outgrown people, what is your re- the reason? The reason is what matters. There are some people they've not even outgrown you. They're mm-hmm. just in a different place, and they want you to know. Yes, we are both in SS. Now, we're in uni and they're doing engineering and you're doing maybe economics. They've not outgrown you. You're both in uni, but they just want to make... Listen, I, I run with the tech crowd. I'm, I'm very, doing, very busy. You know, exactly. Uh, you know, some of us do find ourselves in programs that are very difficult. So we cannot... You know, so at the end of the day, it's not 
it, the reason for communicating is the thing. I don't think I get him when he says outgrowing someone is not a thing. We might just be in different spaces. Like, what are talking let's, about? Because you don't come, let's shake some table. Okay. okay let's I, shake I, some I tables. hear what you said. I, 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 shake sm- I shake small. You people were. Can you re- <laughs> Everybody was scared. You, you guys. Can you re- I'm not going to rerun re- anything. Re- I'm re- not going re- to rerun re- 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 anything. Let's, let's move on. Let's move on. If some people you find know, themselves need, in programs that are difficult, I, I they have to let you know. So you think that some people find themselves right in <laughs> programs that are that are more difficult than please, others. Please, they I don't... didn't bring anything to this table. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't come and shake it. <laughs> oh my god. So Carrie is saying that hey, this outgoing thing is real low. I met a friend in Trotsky and she didn't remember going to school with me. What type, what type of outgoing is that? Carriage. <laughs> if yeah, I believe in walking away. Hmm. When I realize I'm expecting, I'm expecting too much. I'm expending. expending. Okay, I'm expending too much energy to do the right thing repeatedly. I begin to invest less and less till the day I'm no longer present. Mm. That's mm. interesting. Mm. And that's so deep. That why you've been asking the whole time. How do I communicate? How do he's giving you how to communicate? Just invest less and less, and then step and away, less and less till you shrink into the background. Sometimes you just you don't have to announce your exit; you just have to fade into the background. And I love that so much. Like there's some people who have class in exit; you, they will live your life without you knowing they've left. They just retreat, retreat retreat and they're gone it's beautiful it's beautiful there's no mess there's no fight there's no ill sometimes it might be the right time to exit someone's life it might be all the conditions might be right but the way you exit the things you say before you leave would just ruin years of friendship memories and moments like you you had a great time yes we're in uni we mm-hmm. found ourselves in the same program. We had a good time. We, we enjoyed. We studied together. We laughed. And then the last day, an idiot just utters some idiotic things. And it just ruins it. You just want to forget them as quickly as possible. Rashid is just telling you, just take your time. Invest less. Like you were saying, what if they bring a conversation you don't want to have? Invest less in the conversation. When people are talking to you and you are not in the conversation, they would know. If they come, hey, if you're a boy, what, what is Man City like? And if you starts, oh, Pep is this, Pep back is like this, this, that. They know you're invested in the relationship. But when they come and say, if you tell us about your drag life. And you're like, I have nothing to contribute to this. They would know. No, you, you, have, you had every chance to give any example. <laughs> you had all the chance in the world. I will not make you continue. No, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Okay, move on to your next comment. With growing older, I think you you should build discernment to properly define and create friendship to reduce stress from entitlement, over reliance, and etc. That's 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 man. That's a whole Rashid different is topic. just dropping gems. That today, is Rashid. a whole <laughs> different topic. Mm. Entitlement is, is mm. a big thing. What what I, I'm concerned here is the discernment. Yes. Like you having that wisdom to tell at what point to do what. Hmm. It's hmm. it's very important. And I'm glad he brought that in here. That I think if if we all have that that trait or that, you know, ability hmm. to tell, you know, when to step away, when to leave, when to do things, everything will be life will be very simple. <laughs> But I have this new person in the building. A do for Sue Emmanuel. He says, Shut Hey, 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 be careful. <laughs> <laughs> the minute I saw the post, I realized who CK was. So I was just waiting for us B-13. to get to that. B13. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, B13. <laughs> Shout out to you. Chris is so happy. Let me put Chris up. <laughs> 
happy he is. Yeah, B13, whoever you are, you've made Chris's show. <laughs> we really appreciate you having you on, Emmanuel. Man, you should stop by. The way you make Chris happy. <laughs> We're like, B13, B13. <laughs> oh my God, he is so happy. I don't know what this B13 is, but I guess it's a Yeah, good we, went to, we went to, went to, went to, went to. We chose together. together. No, no, no. College together. College. Yeah. Oh. B13. Yeah, B13. You, you know, B13 reminds me of B613. Do you guys catch the reference? What is B613? It's from a show. It's from a show. Um, the, the, that fixed that show. Olivia Pope's show. What's that show called? I don't know. No idea. Oh, the president. She was having an affair with the president. She was a fixer and she was having an affair with the president. No Oh, idea. my God. You people don't watch shows. Olivia Pope, the, the name of the secret cartel that was running things was I, B613. I don't know. Okay, let's move on. B13, we're happy to have you on here. When I remember the show, I would let you know. And please, if you're watching this and you remember that show with Olivia Pope dating the president on top of Please Pope, comment it for us. Please, okay. drop it in the comments. I can't. I don't know how I've forgotten this. <laughs> ah, anyway, it's, it's anyway. A show. Rashi said, could you, this example yeah, I know the cause you wanted to mention. It was not engineering and it wasn't economics. So, Kojo, Rashid is telling he knows exactly what you wanted to say. The people who do medicine and with friends who do Ghanaian languages in Akan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll, they'll get anyway. Scandal, scandal, scandal. The name of the show is Scandal. scandal. Thank you, Rashid. Scandal. scandal. Yeah. In Scandal. The organization that was behind everything in the United States was B613. Come on. Yeah, how can you guys? Yeah, you guys should leave us alone. We don't, we don't. don't. Thank you, Rashid. Rashid, today you're just the man. I I should really have brought Rashid into the studio instead of Ifia Yabwa. Because Ifia Yabwa has, I have outgrown Ifia Yabwa on this show. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God, you did that years ago. But you know the beauty? I'm not going anywhere. Unlike people mm. that understand and be like, oh, this person, I, I don't understand. Mm. No, I don't. Anyway, guys, if you are new to the, to the show, to the whatever, please like, comment, share, invite your friends, and let's go the channel. We do this every Sunday, 2 p.m. Central. Okay, finish. <laughs> no, I just wanted to make an announcement that I've changed my name to Farm. I have changed my name on this show to Farm. So now let's continue the show. Why? What? I don't get why. You know, you know. Keep going. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, please share, comment, like, invite your friends to watch us every Sunday. Turn your post notification on so that you know when you are going live. Um, Glenn says, for sugar reasons, when I saw discernment from Rashid, I just shouted, hey, for the... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, people are shaking the table. Hmm. Hey, but I better... <laughs> hmm. You have to know what I'm talking about. Hey, but I better is not for everyone. So, could you... Bum. What is bum? I well, don't maybe, know. He was agreeing was, to something. He was agreeing to something he was saying. Um, Christine Yaku says, Hey, fam. You remember I changed my name like four comments ago. <laughs> what was the message you are, to me? You are just the best. Oh, Thank you, Christian. Could you please? Okay, please. <laughs> you see, anyway, this is called foresight. If you have foresight, you position yourself for the compliment. <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you oh thank you I'm not, I'm not going to deal with you i'm not going to deal with you simply jordine is back again and saying imano fosu go bed jordine no. imano fosu imano please come and remove this is your... a family affair this I is definitely that. i love that this is I definitely a family that. affair wow okay I okay love that. okay I love that the comment session is draw, brewing its own um, drama. <laughs> no, I, I saw Glenn throw some jabs at Rashid, and now Geraldine is drew, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, let me keep quiet. I want could you please take us back to the comments that says discernment. I want us to, you know, okay. No, the one Rashid sent talking about discernment. I think that is the solution to all the problem. I mean, the whole conversation. Really, if we have discernment, we can tell when we let things go, where we 
how we react to people walking away from us and how we react when we walk away from people, right? You know what to do. And usually that is something that doesn't come naturally to everybody. And that is why we have the conversation. So people can identify that, okay, when this happens, it means that, yes, I'm, I've outgrown this relationship or this friendship group. And it doesn't necessarily mean I need to announce it to them that I have outgrown you. It's not necessary. Mm-hmm. You Thank know, you. You, just, you just, as they said, invest less, less, yes. and less. That was just Until dope. you that vanish. Was just yeah. Until you are no longer there. Mm-hmm. That is how you handle things like this. And and I think it's normal, you know, even though I was just being difficult, it's it's normal that certain friend group would be just three months old and it's fine. Six months old and it's fine. A year, it's not supposed to be a lifetime, even though for some people in personally in my life, it's a lifetime, whether I like it or yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's <laughs> for some people it's a lifetime, but generally we have to understand that it's not you know it's just fine. You yeah. you get real, to a different real, stage. Real, real I mean, and right. as as my my that, that is the guess, gem today. I'm just going to have to write it out somewhere in my office. As for my real, guess, it ends. <laughs> as my guest always said, Mama, I'm very feeding me back, but sure. <clears throat> Today, yeah. you've spoken so much for you on the show. And you've forgotten that half our listeners and our viewers don't even understand. So now, if you speak... I have, you to, to, I have, to, I have to get a, a section... Uh, with... yeah, am, I a guest, am I your guest or a friend? You are my guest, baby. Uh-uh. Am I a guest or your friend? Oh, you are um, a guest. If there's, uh, there's something mine. <laughs> <laughs> if there was something worse than... If there was something worse than guest... That's a... <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I guess yeah, that's life. Too. That's yeah. life. Mm-hmm. Chris would be hosting next week, and you, you would not even see the for studio. the next for the next one month, guys. You'll be seeing me every day here, and yeah, I'll be hosting it and giving you gems like I'm giving you now. And yeah, it's really been a wonderful show. I have one last thing before we leave mm-hmm. today. Manchester United played uh-uh. Arsenal, and I would love. For us, if you're in the comment uh-uh. section, write in the comments the score. Uh-uh. I just want to know the score line because I did not, I did not, <laughs> I couldn't get a chance to watch the game because I was preparing for the show. If you're in the comments section, you want to cut, kindly, cancel. Hmm. Kindly, you know, comment with the with the score line. Anyway, oh. A do for suit in Manos is CK. Yeah, a long time. Just started watching the show. Great show and video quality. My girlfriend. Oh, look. Oh, <laughs> this is cute. This is cute. This oh. is cute. Oh, because I know Jordine was like, I've heard, I've seen her comments before, mm-hmm. and I didn't know Chris was, you know, Chris knew. Yeah, Emmanuel. yeah, I know, I know, Emmanuel. Yeah, that is that is so sweet and cute. Thank you, Jordine. Thank you so much for introducing him to the show, and I hope he sticks around. And Emmanuel, please invite some of your friends too, if you can. Anyway, now to the comments where I know the score line. It was three one. Arsenal won three goals. Was, was that the only game played today? That is the most important oh. game. <laughs> why are you why are you even listening to this one? Why are you why why? That is the most important game. Like, how do you lose 3-1? Like, Look, have some shame and even a draw a, a, without AY wait, a, a, wait, wait, yes. wait. The, I I, the, 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 the inconcombility. <laughs> The inconcombility <laughs> of the honorable Quisi first coming to talk about man you where you support Chelsea. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He doesn't support Chelsea, please. He's a Chelsea that. fan. He's not. Yeah, he's, he's not. Here. He's not. Man, you lost three goals. Well, I mean, are you guys are a team? This? Are you guys a team? If yeah, what well, did we finish talking about the friend outgoing friends? Because it looks I'm like you're done. I gave the gem out. I told people that you need some form of discernment and, and to you help you to... navigate your friend group. You Sometimes... just want to come and laugh at my you. This is how your man you friends would all live without telling you. 
Ooh, no, like, the thing is, you people don't have anywhere to go. That is the truth. You people are, where okay. are you going? Watch us go to the top of the table. How, how, is, the fan, how is the fantasy league looking? That is what I'm going to show. <laughs> so, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have not joined it yet, this is the Casa Podcast Fantasy uh... <laughs> League. And guys, this is where things stand at the end of week four. Mm. We have um, Odadie Kwame Champon is in the lead. Planted family at the top. Um, Tao is second. Tao has to come back into the studio. He came and he gave us his team and now he's doing so well. We have to learn from him. Wow. I was number one, but look at where I am. Nobody now. cares oh. where you were. Oh. Please tell us where you I, are I am, now. I, I am fourth. Nobody I'm really eight cares. Points, eight points behind. Guys, Nobody let, let's go and find the fear your boy. Please get your scuba gear. We're going down the bottom <laughs> to go and find the fear your boy. Get your scuba gear. The fear your boy is here. Oh, but AY, you did well, though. You got 73 points in the game week. How many did I get? 71. AY, you did good. Now, we're going to drill for oil. After we <laughs> drill for oil and mine all the gold, we would find Chris. Um, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Oh, where is Chris? Chris? I didn't see you, Chris. Where are you? <laughs> Chris is at the top. Chris hey. at the top. Hey, Chris is above. Hey, Chris, where did you go? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you guys cannot see. I'm hey, Chris, see. where good, are you? Uh, there he is, BBB, 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 BBFC. Yeah. BBBFC. Hey, you got 82 but points, got Chris. Two points. Chris, you did well this week. It's just that, oh my God. It's just that you can't catch up. You can't catch up. Hey, if you are, you are just, we can see you when we see Chris, if you are. We can what see you. Six points. You are six nine. Points. It's only yes. six points between yeah. you and Chris, and you are making noise. Hey, why? Be careful. Be careful before Chris catches up. Because what's the league code? People are asking. Oh, it's that. a Casa Podcast League. I'm going to give the code. Let me let me let the code. The code is going to scroll on the bottom of the screen. For those of you who do not know, the Casa Podcast code is AM4 <laughs> FFZ Alpha Mango 4 Frank Frank Zebra. Hey. Whenever I'm saying the FF I struggle to find the words to use. Hmm. A for a mango, M for mango, four, <laughs> F for fami mango, F for fami mango, Z for zimi mango. <laughs> that is the code for the Casa Podcast um, Fantasy League. And if you haven't joined that yet, please. We have 23 people in the league. If I have what promise that whoever wins this league this year, she has a special present for you. If yeah, what was the present again? I'm going to get them um, a messy Jesse. <laughs> okay, you changed it. Yeah. Okay, Inter Miami messy Jesse or an yes. Argentine messy Jesse? No, Inter no Argentina actually. No. Okay, so if whoever wins the fantasy league is going to get a messy Jesse, for those of us who don't need it, we'll get it and we'll burn it because we are the C boys. <laughs> C. All right, so if you haven't done that, it's AM4FFZ. We want to see new people in here. Next week, we're going to look at how the table shapes up. But this year is my year. Big energy. If you don't know my team, that's me. Big energy right here. Eight yeah, points behind not, the leader. We are not going anywhere. And, and stop and, saying Chris, eight points behind the leader Chris like is you got it. 30 points behind me at the moment. 30 points. 30 solid points behind and he's 38 points behind the leader. And that tells you how tight it is. Chris is number 12. I draw Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is number 14. And um, our love and sympathies go to Kujo Pukwentri, my cousin. He's carrying this table. <laughs> he is carrying it. His neck is going to break. But hey, we, we have to show some love. But that's the Casa Podcast Fantasy League. Anyway, guys. Rashid is saying that oh, calling yourself big energy and losing is wild. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> it's wild. It's really wild. But it's sure. but but my friend was helping me out with some of the F words, right? F for fox trap, oh, F, F for fantikinki. But I think I prefer my own. Please, the code again is AM four F F S. A for a mango. M for mango, four for four mangoes, F for family mango, Nitoho, F for family mango, Nebraha, and Z 
for Zime Mango. Thank you very much. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, guys, it's, it's really been a wonderful show. And I'm glad we made it and we are still here. So share, subscribe, mm-hmm. and see you guys next week. And please join the co- fantasy league. I see Kwesi and all those people joining the league. Please join so that we need people to be at the bottom of the league. We need people at the bottom of the league. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Hey, look at that one. Look oh at that God. one. Look at that one. Rashid has given us the code I'm a again. For Fufu Fantasam Rashid always drops the code, Zephia. Hmm. Anyway, anyway, it's been nice having you guys here. And he said F of <laughs> Listen, one of these days we have to do a show on that. We have to do a show on how to, you know, give out code. You know how you'd call Delta or anything. And they're like, what's your <laughs> you have to we have to practice like oh Alpha, Charlie, Romeo, Tango, first trap. For four, for four, Lulu, whatever you want to learn, you gotta. You, we have to practice, guys. Enough, okay. <laughs> it's it's been a wonderful show, and I'm glad you made it to this point. And if you have, please share with your friends, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you know when we are going live. And uh, until another time, actually next week you will come your way again. So from the tribe. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we had to just drop that one. I know oh, we're going God. to sign off, but Geraldine <laughs> is saying Emmanuel Fusu. Oh, he said girlfriend. So sweet. Still, so go, go bed. bed. My guy, go bed. Oh, go to bed. Go <laughs> bed. Please. Anyway, from the tribe here. What do we say? It's a uh, bye. bye. See you next week.